told you I'm rich. Are you poor? I'm not poor, but I'm not rich. Are you single? Uh, who's, it depends on who's asking. The president. <laughs> the president is asking. Uh, to the president, yes, I'm single. Asante, sir. <laughs> uh, you guys should clap, though. He said, Makofi <laughs> Kwake. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, so before I say anything, I know most of you, which is really something very normal for young Kenyans, might not even know what a chief administrative secretary is. How many of you know what that is? Just a few of you. So most of you don't know. And I'm pretty sure most of you don't even know who I am. So out of respect, I'll introduce myself properly and also explain. So my name is Nadia Ahmed Abdallah. I'm actually the youngest chief administrative secretary in His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta's cabinet. A chief administrative secretary is actually a deputy minister. It's just a fancy name. And I got appointed when I was 29. And I want to tell you some bit of history. The last time someone who was 29 and was in the, a cabinet in Kenya was Tom Boyer. So, you guys can imagine. Yeah, you should clap. That really shows that Kenya has really grown. So, you know, and I'm a female, and I'm a, an author, I'm a writer, so I'm a creative, I love dancing. I think that song didn't do me justice because I'm a really great dancer. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe once I'm done, you can give me something else. Um, but to Standard Media Group, thank you so much for inviting me. To Nairobi Street Kitchen, thank you so much. I've never been up here. I always come down and bring my siblings. So now I know this other place. That is nice. To all the artists, the creatives, the young people here, I see you. I appreciate you all. And I just want to say good luck to everyone that has been nominated. Good luck to everyone that is going to win. And if you don't win, you're still a winner. I don't have much to say, but I come from the Ministry of ICT, Innovation and Youth Affairs. And mostly I work on innovation and youth affairs. I've had the opportunity to go around Kenya and to work with young people. And one of the biggest stakeholders in Kenya, and I would tell you, are the people in the creative arts, the musicians and the ones who make the videos. If you build websites, whatever you do, the graphic designers, the dancers, spoken word artists. And we're at a very crucial time in Kenya right now. And I want to challenge all of you. I hope everyone is a registered voter. That's number one. Because as a young person, if you're not a registered voter, please don't complain when things in government don't go according to you, what you want. You can only complain if you're a voter. So music, music videos, art, they bring peace. A lot of you know music also helps us with our mental health. How many of you have had mental health problems? I've had. How many of you have? You're telling, me, <laughs> you're telling me all of you have not had some sort of breakdown, anxiety attack. Creatives. How many? Just a few. I see you. I know most of you or some of you are going through that. I'm a mental health ambassador. And I want to say something. If you find yourself in a position where you're suicidal, or if you find yourself in a position where you're just not happy, please seek help because it's okay not to be okay. I know how much pressure this industry has. And I know how much judgment this industry also has. So I just wanted to say that it's okay not to be okay. And you guys should really take care of yourselves. Preach peace. Sing about positivity, and please take care of one another. And I don't have much, because I'm very excited to see what's happening today. But I'd really like a few of you, those of you who can, to come on stage with me. I just want a few people just to come on stage with me. I'm not going to ask you questions. I just want to dance. I just want to dance. Who will come on stage? Please. I 
lucky you guys. I'm such a different government official. You will never get a government official like me.